Hey folks, in this video, we're gonna give you a look behind the scenes at the code base of the Arcade City website and a peek into the development process of how we build new features. The focus of this development session is preparing to handle the 20-ish applications we got yesterday for the Arcade City Core Guild that we announced, which you can learn more about on the previous video. This video is aimed primarily at developers uh, who we will be getting up to speed on our development process. So there may be some technical language, but we'll try to keep things in plain language as much as possible so other people can follow along. Uh, so the website and API of Arcade City are both written in the web framework called Laravel, uh, you can look at that at laravel.com. Um, we've got two code bases. We've got an API code base that is currently live that the mobile app uses, the version 4.1 mobile app uses. We're in the process of pulling that code into the same code base as the new website, which is also Laravel. Uh, we had had this split up uh, previously into a, a, a Next.js app on the website and uh, Laravel for the API, but we're, we're kind of combining that into one code base for the 4.2 release. Uh, you can see this is the test suite for the website and uh, very basic about people can subscribe to the email list uh, when you sign up here. Admin panel, login, dashboard shows the user referral code and the most recent feature is the referral codes that are now added to the dashboard. In this video, we're gonna be experimenting by driving out a feature entirely in this video. Uh, we have launched a guild implementation previously in our version three mobile app, full featured, you know, create a guild, add people to it, push notifications for the invitations, um, guild chat, etc. A lot of that was in Firebase on the back end. So while we can reuse the app components um, just with a, a few updates to reflect the new back end, uh, the guild code has not been implemented yet on this new code base. We've got a bit of Laravel guild code in other code bases from the past months. Um, I may pull over some of that to speed things up, but I'm um, gonna see how far we can get in this video. And my objective for now is to get these people for whom we all have email addresses uh, invited to the guild called Arcade City Core and have them access probably guild chat as a good initial uh, feature to add. So we are really embracing the lean style of development, you know, come up with a minimum viable product or, you know, one feature and build it, get people using it, banging on it, and, um, you know, we'll see. Uh, and if you didn't catch the last video, um, just to briefly summarize the point of this is that uh, as we begin expanding our team to deal with the uh, inevitable surge of users and people creating guilds. Uh, we need to expand our team and we're doing that by organizing our team as an Arcade City Guild named Arcade City Core. And so we're gonna try to minimize the amount of external services that we use. We certainly are not going to be depending on Facebook or Telegram to organize this. We're going to be organizing this on our own infrastructure. So if we're reasoning about this, you know, we've got these 20 applications and I'll open up all Zaki's as an example. We've got name. We asked them to provide like Telegram username, how many hours, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, and we got the email address. So this is the information that we have in type form, which is what the uh, core form is. So one thing I might do at one point is to um, connect to the type form API to pull this all over programmatically. But if we're thinking about, okay, what do I actually want these people to receive? I want these people to receive a, let's see if I can make a little note here. What I'd like for an initial deliverable is 
all Typeform applicants receive an invitation email and the invitation email is really an invitation to the guild. So it's sort of, let's say, name has invited you to join Arcade City Core. And then the email will say like, it's an Arcade City Guild, click here to accept. So what we need first is to define guild. And because we're doing this via test-driven development, we'll first define what the first feature is. Well, we need to have a guild. So let's say user can create guild. Let's say what might other tests be? User can be invited to guild and user can accept guild invitation. So this is like a model that we need. These are feature tests. And let's say there's gonna be unit tests like for guild, it can have members. And let's say like it has a name. Uh, it'll have mission statement and you know a charter link and all sorts of stuff. But for now, uh, one idea behind test-driven development is you wanna uh, write a test that's like one small little thing, test it and build it until the test passes and then do the next test. So we wanna basically identify what are the tests that are the simplest possible uh, path to implementing the feature that we want up here. Uh, so the other thing is like admin can email guild invite. Okay. One question worth asking is, can any of this be simplified or removed for now? Um, I don't know that we need create guild right now because I can just seed a guild. So that's fine. I'll put this as later. Actually, I'll keep this in the feature test section, but later. Let's see. User can be invited to guild. User can accept guild invitation. Probably we can put the email check. Let's just do this. Admin can invite user by email and then we'll put the like send email in that check. Okay, so what do we actually need here? We need the admin can invite a user by email and a user can accept guild invitation in which we'll check that they're actually uh, added to the guild, the guild, because of this test, we'll be able to check that that guild can have members and it's got a name because we'll need to put the name in the uh, welcome email. This looks like, let me move this out of the way. This looks like enough to get us started if we can get these things going. Okay, so let's start with admin can invite user by email. So I'm gonna go over to here. Now, where should we put this? Under features, what kind of test should we call this? I'm actually gonna do this via the command line. Uh, artisan make test, uh, what should we call it? For now, let's just call it guild test. We can uh, change that later if we want to. Pull this down. All right, guild test. And let's just grab the stubs. Hmm. Let me just kind of pull the top of this. Do I need to set up? No, not yet. All right. Quick shout out to um, my like VS code setup here is based on going through the uh, Caleb Porcio's become awesome at VS Code, something like that, uh, course, which I highly recommend. 
uh, it's a lot more enjoyable to be in VS Code um, now that a lot of the like usual crap has been cleaned up. Okay, so we're gonna call this guild test. Start by refreshing the database. And then I also got this little test snippet here. So function, uh, what do we say? Admin can invite user by email and save that as the public there. Okay, so a uh, quick um, caveat. I'm not uh, like a pro Laravel developer. Um, I'm like kind of an intermediate developer. So I'll be like kind of struggling here and there or taking like paths through the code that are not the most optimal. And uh, I'm happy for any feedback or insults that anyone wants to uh, throw into the comments. <laughs> All right, so admin can invite user by email. Do I need to have, let me see, what do I have for my like user um, test case? Okay, login, okay, so this is how I log in as me. So let's do, and uh, so, you know, usually if you were like starting from scratch, you'd have to kind of define what you mean by admin, but I've kind of already got that set up. If I do this login, Chris, that should get us logged in. And let's just, for now, let's just assert that we are actually authenticated as, eh, first let's just do assert authenticated and make sure that we're good. And it's been a few weeks since I've done code. Let's make sure I still have my like hotkeys. Okay, so one test with two assertions, good. Does login Chris have its own assertion? Oh, I'm asserting that, that that works. Okay, good. I could like do assert authenticated as user where, where email chris at rk.city first or fail. And that's not gonna work. App models user. Uh, does that work? And then what's the command for previous? There we go. It does, okay. So I am off as me. I'm gonna remove this because I already knew that. All right, so can invite user by email. Okay, so there's gonna be a um, uh, an API endpoint and we're gonna, I guess maybe put in the guild's namespace. We'll kind of like add sophistication around controller structure later. Uh, let's say guilds invite and what do we need here? Uh, we need probably the user email and the guild ID. So, so for guild ID, we'll say that's gonna be do this in a separate line. So this would be like the setup phase. Uh, what's the three A's they do? It's like something assert and like arrange, act, assert, is that it? Something like that? Basically the idea is that you're setting up the test, you're running the action, and then you're asserting that that test achieved your desired result. So uh, so when we arrange the test, we're gonna want a, um, a factory. And I gotta remember uh, Laravel 8 just created a new way of um, doing a factory. So first of all, I gotta pull in at models.guild, which does not exist at the moment. So that'll be probably the first thing that squawks at us in terms of an error. Uh, but I'm gonna do uh, guild and then I think it's create. I don't, it doesn't have the um, autocomplete because guild doesn't actually exist. Um, now I can go over here and do like Laravel 8, what do you call it, like a model factory. Uh, factory, writing factory. Is this a model factory? Factory states. Uh, let me just, I think I already have this set up somewhere. Yeah, here we go. So a model has this thing that says add factory. And then I think I have, is it create? No. 
Yeah, here we go. So here's the syntax, user factory create. This is new in Laravel 8, which just came out. Okay, so let's go into, now I know I know that a guild is gonna need to be created and like I'm tempted to like create it right now, but it's, you wanna set up the test and then, you know, kind of go error by error and let, I also don't know all the like super vim hotkeys to like get everything replaced super fast. I know a few things like delete two lines, D2D like slowly learning Vim. But I will say that like, I know maybe, I don't know, 5% of Vim and it's just knowing that a much, uh, not, knowing that much Vim has like really helped um, speed up typing and coding and stuff. Okay, so guild, we're creating one guild and then <clears throat> we'll pass that to API endpoint as guild ID and then we will invite uh, the user. And we will create a user also. Now, uh, before we do anything, let's, let's do this. Let's go here, app models user. We actually do have one of those. Uh, now, let me try doing this first and let's just make sure that our user actually does have an email address. Yeah, Barton, Bartel.rowan at example.org. Okay, so we can assume that the user has an email address because we put that in the factory. Okay, um, so that should do it in terms of the act step. We're making a post to this endpoint to invite someone to a guild. We're specifying the ID of the guild and what email address. Although, you know what? This is kind of assuming that we are, the user already exists in the database and um, we should not assume that. Uh, because I just kind of want to get an email address, I could do a separate function or I could hard code something in there. I think I'm gonna start by doing user factory make, which is basically gonna run through the same usual factory and just not save it to the database. And if I were to like put that back, that should still. So it's probably not entirely accurate to call that user, but whatever. All right. So now what are we going to assert to ensure that this test passes? We're going to assert that um, the guild. Let's do this. Mm. Well, do we want to? We want to assert that the user is actually a, no, no, no. We're not asserting that the, the user accepts the invite. We're asserting that they receive an invite and that it's set up such that they are able to accept it. Although we have, we're not going to be building that part of it at this point. So we're basically just testing. What are we testing? We're at, testing that the admin can invite the user by their email. So we're asserting that a mail was sent with the invitation email in it. Okay, so we need to test mailable, that a mail was sent. Now, this I always have to look up. Um, let's look for testing. How do we test that a mail was sent? I mean, we've got that in another test, so I should probably just go pull it from there. Um, so let's get a list of our tests. Where did I put that? See, user where email first, assert that the script the list, that's close. Here we go. Okay, so here, um, Maelstrom is like our internal name for our auto emailer. Um, so here we're testing that the new user is sent a welcome email. So it's like we're preparing to f send a fake email of that class. Well, in this test, we're like creating a user and then asserting that they are sent this welcome email. So this is sort of kind of what we want to do and then use mail. Okay, so let's go back to guild test. And let's go up to here and do use mail. So 
So welcome email, we'll call this the guild invite email. And we want to assert that a guild invite email was queued. And let's think, does that cover it? We want the admin to be able to invite a user by email and note we're not like doing a browser test to like test the interface actions. We're just testing the API endpoint, which gets us like 80% of the way there. We're gonna invite the user by email. We're logging in the admin. We're getting a, a email address to send to. We're creating a dummy guild. We're posting to the API endpoint to invite to the guild passing in the guild ID with the user email, and we're asserting that that, hmm. Can we assert that that email was queued to that email? Fake guild email invite. This is just asserting that there was a guild invite email queued. Conceivably, we could add additional detail to um, test that it was exactly Alexa stop. Conceivably, we could add additional detail to test that it went to that email address. Um, I can't think off the top of my head of like a method for that, so it might just be not kind of worth the trouble. Let's maybe start with this. Uh, so let's let me go up here, redo the test, and it should fail with. There we go. Class op app models guild not found. Now at this point, this is usually when I'll do a commit. Uh, that we have a, a successfully failing test. Now, uh, what branch are we on? We are on main branch. Let's change that to um, guild invites. Okay. Um, do all of these changes belong in this commit referral test? I don't know what this other stuff is. What is this? Oh, that was me commenting out some failing tests that I just don't care about at this moment. All right, so let's add everything other than the guild to, we'll call this comment out failing tests. I don't give a F about. Okay, and then, so for this, we'll call this admin can invite user by email fails. And now our job is to get this test to pass. So, and I can go down here and do TF guild test if I want it to look a little prettier. Okay, admin can invite user by email fails because app models guild was not found. All right, so let's get that error smashed. And we're going to make a model uh, with a migration for saving it in the database called guild. Now I believe Laravel 8 will put that into the right folder, which is the model folder. So let's give that a try. App models guild. Properly namespace, hooray. It used to dump that into the like root folder and you'd have to move it into the models manually. Okay, so I'm going to, whenever I make model changes and stuff. I like to just make a commit for that. And then let's go check to see what happened with our test. Great. Uh, now the factory is failing. Let's go back to the guild test. Um, so it's like, okay, I found guild, but I don't see a factory for it. Uh, now this whole factory structure is new in Level eight. So I'm guessing I need one of these things. Um, so this is what it's doing for user. 
And I'm guessing there's a artisan command to Laravel 8 create model factory, maybe. Is this a Laravel 8 dot? Laravel 6 factory? No, it's annoying. The, like, you search for it and then it comes up with the Laravel 6. Let me try this. Artisan make factory guild factory. Does that put that in the right place? Uh, it looks like it did. Where is this? Factories. Here we go. Okay, so yeah, that put that next to user factory. That's what we want. So create app models guild, blah, blah, blah. Definition is, and does this already have faker or do we need faker? This dot faker. Okay, that's interesting. So what should be in our definition? I think for now we're just saying that we needed a name. Uh, do I want to hard code this or put in like safe name? They're not gonna have like. Hmm. Well, I have a factory. Let's just see what happens now with our test. Unknown formatter safe name. I guess it's just name. That was a guess. Okay, here we go. So column not found, unknown column name in field list because our migration setting up the guilds table doesn't have a table for name. So table, oops, string name. Do we want that to be nullable? No, you have to have a guild name. All right, let's see. Okay, so the expected guild invite email mailable was not queued. Which means that we got through all of this without error. We also got through this without error. And that's because it's not like throwing anything when this gets a response back that's like, what the hell? Like it's just a kind of throwing the request and that went fine even though it didn't return anything intelligible. And it's going down to here saying uh, mail fake it's not even throwing an error here. It's just saying that your assertion about the guild invite, like that was not actually queued. Okay. Uh, but this is the point that we actually, like now we actually have to go stop setting it up and actually go implement this endpoint. And I'll probably save this here as, um, you know, guild factory created. Okay, so let's make a mailable. And we gotta update the namespace because this is looking for it in the wrong namespace. So uh, let's say, I think it's artisan make mail guild invite email. Okay, now that's in app slash mail. So let's go up here and pull that in. Use app mail. I love this. Autocomplete there. Okay. Now we're pulling in guild invite email. Now, what error do you have for me? Probably the same error. Yeah. Now, um, I'm wondering if there's anything, there's this thing that sometimes gives you a more detailed error message, but that might only be for the requests. Let me see. Okay, here we go. This is better. Uh, so this line, I can't really explain it, but um, I guess it's that when I threw this request, the exception that it created because it doesn't know what this is was handled in some way. And by disabling with exception handling, we now get a more informed error from what's happening here. Uh, and the error is the post method is not supported for this route. So let's go support that method. Um, this should be an API call, so I'll put that in here. And it looks like we haven't done anything with the API because uh, all the API endpoint stuff uh, from the mobile app is in the other code base. Um, so we're kind of starting from scratch here, which is fine. Um, so I'll probably need to change this to API slash guild slash invite. Does that still give me the same error? Yeah, so 
because API is automatically prefixed here. Route middleware, I don't care about that. Remind me how we set up a group. All right, so let's do this. And this. And then this. All right, so let's try route post guilds create and then Laravel also changed this like controller invocation something something guild controller class create and we don't need a name for this right oops me like trying to figure out vim commands and look cool okay let's comment this out for now I don't care about that and let's see, this will probably squawk at us about the guild controller, maybe. Let's see. The post method is still not supported for this route. API guilds invite, not create, dummy. Okay. Invite. Let's try that again. Yep. Class guild controller does not exist. Uh, can I do that? Make controller, guild, controller. Let's see if that goes into the right place. Okay, looks like it does. Now, what do I need here? So let's just pull this over to the guild controller. And we said invite, right? Do I have that correct in the API route? No, I still have create here. All right, so in the invite, what are we doing? Well, we should create a new mailable. So let's pull in, let's see if we can automatically pull that in. Guild invite email, boom, that pulls in, cool. Guild invite email. How do we create? Do we just do? How do we create a mailable? Ba 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 ba. Or invoke it or whatever. Sending mail. Here we go. Okay. So yeah, let's do this. Mail equals guild invite email. And I'm guessing. We need to pass the email address that we want to send it to into there. New. Okay, that doesn't look horrible. First, let's make sure that we actually have the email address properly. Target class guild controller does not exist. Okay, that probably means I didn't pull it in. How do I, can I do, yeah, there we go. Apple KI. And I like this to be alphabetical because I'm that kind of person. All right. Let's try this again. Unauthenticated, great. No, not great. Why is it not a th okay? Um, unauthenticated. I think because we haven't set up the sanctum, the like authentication for. Let me. Th it might be as simple as pulling in the same. Does something down here require off? Oh, that's probably in the web middleware. Where did I pull in Sanctum? All right, this is another new Laravel package I'm still getting familiar with. So Sanctum, yeah, API tokens. 
Now we're should, we're already authenticated with Sanctum. I just need to kind of gate this. Here we go. Middleware auth Sanctum. I believe I sh I believe it's as simple as replacing auth Sanctum with auth API with auth Sanctum. Maybe not. Let's try it. Perfect. Okay. So this is authenticating us with this like authentication framework that is good for both API and single page applications. Um, but it's new. Okay. So we actually do have the email address in the controller. Uh, now we're going to pass the email to the mailable. And let's just see, first of all, do we have a mail object or does that throw an error? Oh, well, we created an empty mail. That's probably just the default. Yeah, cool. So this doesn't do anything. Um, what I need to do now is customize who this is going to. And let's see what the other mails that we have are. So I can copy paste. Don't make me think about it if I don't have to. Okay, so this here. I'm definitely gonna to wanna to do this. This is for the beta referral email that went out. I'm gonna go down to here, because I also want this to be in Markdown and like structured similarly to the other thing. Okay, so the subject and the Markdown, oh, I guess we set the two. Okay, so we're not gonna to need to pass the email address in. We can just set that on the actual um, mailable object, I think. Okay, so what should we call this? Um, so this is something where we are gonna to wanna to pass in the name of the guild. You've been invited to a guild. Let's just for now keep it as simple as possible. And then mark down email guild invite. Okay. Does this still give me the same thing or did it, and then, okay. Good, now I guess we should probably try to fill in that too. Actually, well, what we should do is first remove that and see what our error is. Probably, I don't know. Okay, failed asserting that false is true. Basically, this is not throwing an error. It's, it's, it's creating the mail fine. It's just nothing is happening with it. All right, remind me. Uh, I don't care about that. Remind me where else we are sending an email. So I can just yoink the code over. Um, are we do that in the email list model? I did this like a month ago, so I'm got to remind myself. Where is this? Oh. Oh, okay. Mail to, all right, that's easy. Let's go back to the guild controller. All right, I think I can just do pull this in like this. No, I don't want the facade like that. And don't reorder my, let's see here. Use mail. Okay, to email and Q new this. I don't need this. I hate that it doesn't read my mind about how I want that to be indented. Okay, new guild invite email. This should, so it creates an, it creates the, uh, a mail class setting the two to that email and then it queues up the actual mailable. It seems a little bit weird, but uh, guild mailable was not queued. Why the hell not? Um, this could have something to do with my queuing setup locally. 
let me try something. First, let me rule this out that it's not how you do with the Q thing. Uh, let's go back to the test. And first, let's test that it's send. Like if I just do a straight up send. Okay. Okay, that good. That's good. So that tells me there there was something messed up with the Q implementation. I probably just don't have an environment variable for the Q configuration in the test environment f file, which is a pain in the butt. I'll figure that out in a second. But first, uh, I want to get it to at least be sending the email, and then I'll, we'll switch it over to the Q. Okay, view email dot invite not found. So um, there might be a command for that. I'm just going to go into the views. Email, guild, invite. Let me just copy this. Guild, invite, dot, blade, dot, PHP. And you've been invited to awesome guild. Oh, stupid. The VS code, like, formatting plugin I'm using works amazing for everything except for these markdown mailable blade files in which it like replaced it just ugh. there's a command to like save without formatting no get out of here um, save without formatting ks but then it brings that up what the heck Save without formatting. K, then S. I think that worked. Okay. All right, let me just ask some of this stuff. Super Guild, great. Uh, accept invite. All right, let's just remove this stuff for now. Nope. Okay, did that work? All right, looks like it did. It's in the uh, source tree there. All right, let's try the test again. Failed asserting that false is true. It was not sent. Does this have to do with my mail configuration? Okay, is there any difference between this Let me try something. What is the test where I'm testing the sending of a welcome email? Maelstrom test, let's just make sure that this is all working. New user is sent welcome email. Well, this is working with the queue. So something is messed up probably in my controller. Let me just try and trace exactly where this email is being sent so that I can figure out um, why. Try mail to user. Hmm. out of curiosity. Let me try replacing the send with Q. 
because the, it might be having a trouble, trouble with the send part of it. And it could add to the queue even if it's not processing the queue. All right, where's my guild test? Let's try this one more time. Oh, uh, I know what the problem is. Uh, I'm uh, faking this after it's already like, it's supposed to send with this endpoint. The fake has to come up here. Woohoo! All right, the test passes. Now, we celebrate by committing this as passes. And then we look at it and say, so this test passes, but like what else? It like, is this testing enough of the scenario that we're really happy with it? Um, so we're logging in as admin, we're creating, we're like basically just grabbing a, an email, creating a dummy guild, preparing to handle a fake, version of the email being sent out. We're posting uh, while authenticated as the admin to this endpoint with the guild ID and the user. Now, this is testing that it's sending a guild invite email. Um, can we also assert that the mail contains the guild name? Are there any other assert? Let's see, assert, assert nothing queued. Yeah, none of this does us any good. Um, can we build a mail object here and test? But if we do build a mail object to run tests on that object, it's gonna be separate from what gets created via the controller because here it's creating it here. I don't know if there's a best practice here or if it's just like a thing that you're not supposed to care that much about. Um, Cause I'd like to test that the mail has the name of the guild in it. Let me try something. Um, Actually, let me just Google it. Laravel test mailable has data. Okay, how to make assertions on a Laravel mailable. You can make assertions against attributes configured in the build method by calling Mm. Okay. Mm. Well, this can assert that the subject contains the guild name, which is probably important. So let's do this. So assert queued, it looks like we can do function mail use guild and return mail subject equals you've been invited to Okay, we're introducing a new thing here that needs to be implemented. First, let's see if we can get this to fail properly. It was not queued. Okay, I'm guessing if this whole thing fails, that it just does, let me just try return true here. It's just like not 
able to throw a verb. Yeah, it's just like not able to throw a properly verbose error, I guess. I'm sure there's a way to figure that out, but whatever. All right, so we need this to pass, um, which means we need to pass the name of the guild into the mailable in the guild controller. So guild um, I guess here is where we'll look up the guild. All right. So guild find request guild ID, is that what we called it? Yep. And I think I'll make this a for f find or fail, is that a? Give me some type hinting here. I'm not gonna. Find or fail, let's see if that works. Should I pass in the guild? All right, I'll pause here. All right, where was I? Let's see if we have the guild here. We do. Judson Larkin, PhD, or well, that's a person's name, but I don't care. All right, we're passing in the guild to the mailable. Let's go look into here. And I think we can do one of these things here, these things here. Let's do like a, this guild equals guild, so that this then has, uh, you've been invited to this guild name. Um, doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doo. First of all, Let's make sure that we have this. Let's see what that does. Come on, buddy. Don't tell me that it doesn't, it can't DD inside of that freaking closure. That makes my life difficult. Although I guess I could do like a, Log info, do I even have telescope installed here? Okay, looks like I do. And it looks like I don't have it configured for recording tests or something. <sighs> Can I like print R this? <laughs> This is ugly. Let me see. Am I not getting that far? What if I do this? Do I get anything? I'm not getting any print R. Do I need to declare guild? The expected mailable was not queued. That doesn't help me. Laravel can die dump inside closure. Is it a closure? Or a callback? Turn that 
there's no reason for to expect that to work. This returns false if male subject is not you've been invited to. Syntax is the same. I can't die and dump here, so I don't know what the, what's, go, what's going on. Although, I guess I could... This guild, this guild name. Okay, that works fine there. You've been invited to this guild name. That works. And you're saying there's no way for me to see what this mail is. There I can see what that mail is. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, wait. Mm. Null. The subject is null. Why is the subject null? So this could be from, this is from 2018. So this could be from an outdated version of Laravel. And like, that's a problem with getting your information from these forum threads. Cause this could just not work. Or maybe it only works when it's on a cert sent and not when it's uh, Alexa stop. There is no male subject. Why is there no male subject? I have the guild. I'm guessing it hasn't been built yet. And I'm guessing this will work on a cert sent. Maybe it only works if it like sends it, because maybe if it queues it, it hasn't built it yet. Let me try this. Where was I? Mail. No, that still doesn't work. It should be built. Well, let me look at another thread because maybe there's like a non messed up way to do this. Yeah, dude, that, oh, idiot, look at this. I have to call mail bill. All right, well, that's... Okay, 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 okay. Goodness, all right, it works. 
All right, so we're asserting that the mail gets sent and that its subject includes the guild name. Let me say this. Uh, email includes guild name. Now, I could add a bunch of other stuff like testing if the body of the email includes various things. Um, that's fine for now. I'm content to declare that test done for now. Next, we will do the next test. All right, let's do it. Admin can invite user by email is done. Next, let's do user can accept guild invitation. So, before we start a new thing, let's just see if that all of our tests run still. Do this. And let's head over to guild test. Test. Boom. Tab. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. User can accept guild invitation. Okay. Let's do this same thing now. Just for clarity's sake, I'll keep these comments here so we can see the three sections, but usually you can remove those. Um, all right, let's, so let's think about this. All of our tests passed, good. So to arrange the user can accept guild invitation, um, in the future, if we're doing sort of common setup for each test, we can put that in a setup function that runs before each test in the uh, class. For now, we won't worry about that. We'll just say, let's see. Um, we can assume that the user is not logged in. Like there is no user, it's just uh, a person responding to an email. Let's see, we do need a guild. And we're gonna kinda jump to the point where the user is clicking the accept button in the email. So what are they gonna be clicking? It's gonna be something like this. Uh, API guilds. Accept invite. Let's see. Yes, they should definitely need to accept the invite of the guild. Now, here's where, I mean, we could just do email. The question is, how will we be able to check that this user has actually been invited so should we be creating a separate like invitation object maybe let's not complicate it until we need to let's just think about this i kind of do want a user email maybe we can use that to run a check in a little bit all right Let's just kind of keep that. We can change that as needed. But what are we going to be asserting? Oh, you know what I can also assert here is that the status of the API request was a 200, aka successful. Why did that happen? Let's just make sure that still works. TF is my um, shorthand for a test with a filter. Okay, so that that's fine. So we'll assert that this, that status works. Um, even though that really begins the assertion phase. All right, so we could start with that. Um, let's think about what the first assertion, aside from the successful endpoint, should be. It should be we're asserting that the user is now a member of the guild.
it would be l lovely to have a, uh, like a, I guess you'd call it a convenience function, is member of guild, guild, this assert true user is member of guild. Okay. Should that go in the user object or the guild object? Let's just keep it there for now because that seems intuitive a bit. Um, so we're creating the guild, grabbing a, an email address for a person. We're having the person accept the email, uh, accept the invite clicking the button from their email, that needs to succeed, and then the user now needs to be a member of the guild. Uh, one problem here is that we're not actually creating a user, and so this will just, well, it looks ugly and it's, you know, it'll need to be refactored, but let's just kind of step through it. All right, so first I'm gonna do this. All right, we got our first failure. The post method doesn't do anything because that route's not defined. So first we will save this as user can accept, save, like commit it to GitHub. Uh, test fails. Okay, let's go support this route. And we'll go into here, accept. Invite. And go to our, well, I know we're gonna to need to go to the guild controller, but let's just have it tell us that. Unauthenticated. Oh yeah. They're not gonna be authenticated. Um, yeah, that is something we need to consider. Let's try moving it outside of the sanctum. Okay, there we go. Guild controller, except invite does not exist. So, public function, except invite request. Do I have that method stub? No, I don't. That's fine. All right, except invite, it now exists. Okay, call to undefined method at model user is member of guild. Okay, well even though I know that we're gonna need to do something with this accept invite thing, uh, let's just squash the next error. So now we're talking about membership of guild, so it's about time to drop down to the unit test to define that in the guild. Uh, but first let's go to the user and uh, let's just address this error. Called undefined method is member of guild. Let's just do this. Let's do return false. Okay, false is not true. Um, so that means that we need to have this actually do a check. And right now we have no logic around how a person is belonging to a guild. Uh, so it's time for us to create a, um, a relationship, model relationship. Not guild, uh, Laravel. I just woke up and have not finished consuming my coffee. It has not kicked in yet. Let's see. So here's a question. Um, you know, we kind of want to start with the idea that people can join one guild. So the question is whether we do like a one to many relationship or a many to many relationship, because we do, we've said that we eventually want people to be able to join multiple guilds, maybe not right away to keep things simple. Um, just to kind of get this prepared for the future, even though it, it's kind of breaking the rule about keeping things as simple as possible, we are going to do this as a many-to-many -many relationship. 
to prepare for people being able to join multiple guilds. Um, and that's driven in part by necessity of, I imagine, a number of the people joining Arcade City Core are also going to be, a few of them will be kind of ideal guild leaders to make their own guild, so we want to be able to support that. Um, at least not have to do a hairy refactor later if we start with one and then want to change it. Okay, so polymorphic, we don't need that. We need regular many-to-many -many relationship. So an example of such a relationship is a user with many roles. So an example of such a relationship would be a user with many guilds where the guilds are also shared by other users. To define this relationship, three database tables are needed. Users, roles, and role users. So in our case, it'll be users, guilds, and guild user. We already have users and guilds, so we need guild underscore user. The role user table is derived from the alphabetical order of the related model names and contains the user ID and role ID columns. Many to many relationships are defined by writing a method returns blah, 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 blah. Okay. I think I want to start with a unit test. So let's commit this as just like start is member of guild. Now, do we have any user unit tests? Um, tests, units, user test. Oh, yeah, we've got some user unit tests. to test the referrals and email list joining. That's good. All right, so what is something that's logical? Let's just start with this. User tests all pass. Um, it can join a guild. Well, it can join multiple guilds. But let's do this first. Hmm. Well, I guess the first thing we're going to want to do is assert that no, it's going to be a collection, not just one. So let's do this. And we need, here we'll just do a factory. Okay, so here we're just creating a dummy user. It's not gonna have any guilds initially, but we wanna assert that when we call the guilds property of user, it's returning us a collection that includes all of the guilds that that user is part of even if that collection is empty. So this is the first thing that we need to have fast. Does this properly fail? Yep, failed asserting that null is an instance of class collection because user guilds, it doesn't know what that is. So let's go up here and say you can join a guild. Actually, that's not the proper name for this test. It's actually, this test will be, so we'll do this next. And this will be it has many guilds. Just kind of describing the uh, has many. Actually, in many to many, it's going to be belongs to many, not has many. All right, let's just call it that for now. That fails. And to implement this, we go put this on the user object. So let's just pull this whole thing in. We'll say the 
guilds that the user belongs to. Public function guilds belongs to money app models guild. I actually kind of prefer doing this. And then do I have guild in here? Can I pull it in like this? Yeah. App models guild. All right. This establishes the relation. Now I think this is gonna wind that we don't have. Uh oh. No test. Oh, I gotta rename that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now this is looking for the. I think it's called the pivot table. Called guild user, and it doesn't have. We don't have that created. Uh, which is good. So let's go artisan make migration create guild user table. I so will set up the database table and then. Oh, is there a new helper for foreign key? I thought I saw that. Foreign ID? Oh, yes. I think this is another new thing in Laravel 8. Yes, foreign IDs. Come on. What? Oh. Foreign key constraints. Since this syntax is rather verbose, additional terser methods, boop, 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 constrained. How beautiful. Um, so user ID, and I think it's gonna automatically figure out what that should be. Let's do that again with guild ID. Oh yes, okay, that test passes. So the database structure is set up to handle membership of users in guilds. And that relation is now working on the user table. Okay, so let's save or commit that. Now, how do we join a guild? Let's pull this in. Okay, so if we create a user, let's first assert that the user is in no guilds and then we'll do a join function or like accept invite somehow and then assert that they're now in one guild. And maybe we can do that again and test that they're in two, two guilds. Um, so let's assert count. Uh, so expected count zero user guilds. Now I think this should pass. Yeah. In the beginning, you are a member of zero guilds. Now what we want is that at the end of this, or in the middle of this, we want you to be in one guild. So what do we want this to look like? Do we want it to be as simple as join guild guild? Obviously the user is not gonna be able to call that to just join arbitrary guilds. Cause we want them to be invited. Although there might be occasions where we're just gonna wanna like do this on the back end and have it just be done and do any checks about invites separately from this. Um, so sure, let's let's start just keeping that simple and getting to the joining as quickly as possible. 
So let's um, create a guild. Good, that pulled in. Okay, this is what we want to have happen. Create a guild, create a user. They're starting off not in the guild. We call this to have them join the guild and then they should be in the guild. And this will fail. Call to undefined method user join guild. All right, let's go do it. User. Join guild. Guild guild. I think this will handle either a guild object or an ID. And if you pass it an ID, it'll look up. I think we might worth might, that might be worth testing. Um, now here we I think there's a it's like associate or attach in order to associate one thing to the next. Let's try a user. Alexa, stop. Um, so we got to go back to relationships. Is it attach or associate? Here we go. So in many to many relationships, da, 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 da. To attach a role to a user by inserting a record in the intermediate table that joins the models, use the attach method. So, user, guilds, attach, guild, ID. It might be as simple as that. Let's test. Oops, we don't have a user. Oh, this. This refers to the user. Okay. Ah, so failed asserting that actual size zero. It's still zero, but I'm fairly certain that's because uh, we need to like refetch the user model. Oops. Assert count user. Just grab another copy from the database because it's kind of like a stale reference or something like that. Uh, Ta-da, okay, it can join a guild works. And uh, let's actually do this a second time. Let's create a second guild. How do I copy multiple lines? Uh, my Vim foo is still weak. Let's do it the regular way. Okay, join the second guild, and then let's make sure that they're in two guilds. And it passes, so I'm gonna rename this test to it can join guilds. You can join multiple guilds. Passes, and let's do the whole user test. Hooray. Okay. Commit that. Now, uh, let's jump back to here. So, we actually did, in the user test, we said it can it belongs to many guilds, like for the relationship, and then it can join guilds, like testing the actual being able to join. Uh, now, even though we've kind of got the guild piece covered, at least on this end, um, yeah, we're going to want to test the other side of that relationship. So while we're here, let's pop over to guild. Oh, we don't even have, we only have an, uh, all right, let's make a, um, a unit test for guilds. Artisan make test, guild test. I think the unit flag does that. Okay. For some reason, when you start unit tests, the top of it looks weird. 
We don't want to pull from PHP unit. We want to do this. And okay, what are we gonna test? Let's do it can have members. So that's done. That's done. We did the guild model. All right, let's do it can have members. And what are we gonna test here? Um, it can have members. Well, I'm actually going to rename that to just to kind of fit the same convention, which is belongs to many is kind of how we refer to the many to many relationship. And I'll just use the actual. I mean, they're members, yes, but it, the model is users. So I'm just going to rename it. As, it belongs to many users. And it's basically going to be the same thing as this, except inverted. So instead of user, we're pulling a guild object. Let's pull this in. I wanted to figure out how to. Alphabetize my classes. So guild users. Give me the users of the guild. Does this pass? No, because we have not defined this relationship on the guild side. So we'll do this. We'll say that this fails. Guild. All right, now we'll go to the guild object. There's nothing here. So, and <clears throat> just paste this in here. The users that belong to the guild, users, this belongs to many. User. Pull that in. Models user. Uh, all right. Oops. Oh, we didn't pull in collection. Ta da. Okay, cool. And uh, that's my like hotkey, and then I can make it pretty there. All right, so guild, it belongs to many users, passes. Let's commit that. That's done. We don't need to test if a user can join guild from here because <clears throat> that's done on the user object and we already tested it. Um, you could maybe envision us wanting to be able to do that from the guild object, um, but we don't I, we don't need that right now. so and then um, it has a name and eh, we might as well do this. I think we can just do like. This assert is string guild name. This is just an extremely simple test that might be worth doing. Just to make sure it has a name. OK, so let's say guild, it has a name, passes. That's basically just to kind of test that the factory is filling in the info that we need. 
Um, let's test all of the guilds. Run all the guild tests. Unit and feature. All right. So <clears throat> our unit tests passed. Um, we still haven't finished the can't accept guild invitation, but we have the membership code working and tested at the unit test level. Now we can go kind of step through the feature of kind of simulating the user actually accepting this invitation. Uh, so the error here is failed asserting that false is true. So that's interesting. This is actually passing uh, with a status 200 just because there's nothing in that controller uh, action. And, um, oh, and user is member of guild. This isn't even doing anything. It's just straight up returning false. Um, what should we do first? Um, I guess because we just implemented kind of the membership logic that it's probably worth filling out this is member of guild logic. Hmm, this probably should have a unit test. And even though this is gonna end up being like a simple, like kind of, I guess, eloquent query or whatever, like see how this is just one line of code. So conceivably, you know, we could just do this and not do join guild, but then like I always forget how this needs to be and whether there should be parentheses here and if this is attach or associate. And uh, it's nice to just have this in kind of plain language. So, you know, user join the guild. Okay, it's joined. It's joined. Um, same thing for is member of guild. Um, we need to have this working. So we're going to dry this out with a test. Um, and we'll call this... We can, we're basically looking to see if that user is a member of a guild. Can see if it is mem member of guild. Uh, maybe not the best name for it, but let's, I don't care. So test. Basically, I wanna come back down here and do some of this basic code just to set up a guild, set up a user, join the guild, and then <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> we wanna make sure that user is member of guild, that this is true. And we'll probably need to Grab a fresh object here. So uh, this assert true, a fresh copy of the user object is a member of that guild. Okay, that will of course fail. And so user can see if it's a member of guild fails. So now we go implement the logic of is member of guild. So we need here this. Now, <clears throat> we basically need to query the guilds that this user is a member of for a guild that has the same ID as the guild that we're passing to the function. So I think it'll be as simple as Ooh, do I pass it on? Let's try this. This guilds where where ID? Um, this could 
break horribly. Let's just see what this is. Okay, that was a huge dump. Let's see. Is this a collection? I can't even see that to the top of it. Um, oh, that's probably, that's probably a collection. Let me grab, let me try this. First or fail. Constraint. Oh, 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 oh. Column ID is ambiguous because it doesn't know what I'm talking about. So this guild's where guild ID, maybe? Oh, uh -huh. is this a collection? Guild. Okay. You know what I want to do is I want to test that it's first false, then it becomes true. But this looks like it's correct. So, so this returned a guild object. It's a little confusing because the name of the guild is a person's name, but that is a guild. And then, yeah, the pivot of the user ID and the guild ID. Nice. User ID one, guild ID one. Okay, so that seems to be working. Maybe I'll just do return true. Might need to put that in a try catch. Let's just see what this does. Okay, so um, this is working, but now I need to hand make sure it handles failure fine. So let's first assert false before we join. And yeah, that's probably just gonna throw an error. No query result. So I don't actually wanna fail. What I wanna do is say first, guild equals look for the guild if you find the guild return true if you don't find the guild return false okay awesome so we can now see if a user is a member of a guild we're creating the guild creating the user in the beginning, they are not a member of the guild, then they join it, then they are a member of the guild. Great. Let's commit that. And this is done. All right, we're getting closer. Let's go back and take one more look at our feature test. So we can go back to the guild test and know that this is properly checking to see if this user is a member of the guild. So as soon as this works, that will, that should pass. All right, now we gotta do the logic of the thing itself. So this is right now throwing a 200 status and it should just not be throwing a 200 status. Let's go down to the guild controller. Accept the invite. So what does this need to do? And what do we have? We have the guild ID and the email. So let's start with this stuff. So here's what we're gonna do. To do, check to see if user was actually invited. But for now, we're gonna skip over that. Um, now, <clears throat> we're passing in an email, which is not necessarily associated with a user. It might be associated with a user. We haven't done any of the code around like what is going on with user email blah 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 well I mean we have done some of that elsewhere in this app um, like the there is a user table with email so maybe we can tap into that but for now let's just um, 
we'll, we'll grab the user by email or create if it doesn't exist. Have that user join the guild. And return status to 100. Um, okay, let's do this. Do I have a function for this? I don't think so. No. Okay, user is user. Where email is email first uh, if there's no user then well this is going to be ugly for now but that's okay is that enough well it'll yell at me if it's not user join guild guild return uh, uh Let's see. Oh. Does this work? I don't know. Let's grab the fresh copy of the object. Call to a member is member of guild on null. Oh, 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 oh. Because we're still using... Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Well, this is interesting. Yeah, so there's no actual user. So yeah, we're running into that issue with the like m the user that we made is not actually a user. So do we want to return the user object? Not really. This would be nice where if we had a um, like a convenience function to just look up a user by email. Just because this is in the test and I don't know that we're going to need to do this elsewhere, I'm going to do this. We're just going to reassign. We're going to redefine user as the actual user with this email address. Then I should not need to grab a fresh instance. Okay, let's give it a try. Call to a member function is member of guild on null. I'm guessing it's because a user is not here being created. No, a user is being created. Bobby Blanda at example.net. Why would this be null? Oh, because I'm just saying where email, email, dummy. Okay. Where email, user, email. All right. I gotta remove the DD. Oh. 
Okay, I like seeing everything green. So here's what's happening right now. We're making a guild. We're, you know, this is a little sloppy. I just want to do this. Make email. I think that'll work. Just it's a little more clear. I don't want user. Yeah. Do, 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 do. All right. Does that still work? Yeah. All right. We're grabbing an email address that we're sending the invite to. They are accepting the invite by email. That's working. We're grabbing the user that was created or that accepted the guild invite. And we're asserting that it's a member of the guild. All right. So this is awesome. Um, this is probably not properly named given its current what it's actually doing. It's basically like user can join a guild. There's there's no actual like accept invite mechanism, which means anyone could just join any guild if they knew the guild ID for it. Um so we'll do that next. But let's just kind of I, I usually say this as like user can accept initial pass like it passes and it tells us something but it's not quite done yet um, but you know do we want to assert that the user can't join a random guild they're not invited to in this test or make another test um, I don't know yet so let's think about this. We're going to want to... Yeah. Let's just make another test. Let's call this done. And let's say this. Um, user can't join guild not invited to it's usually good to separate things out test each different uh, scenario separately so if something fails you know kind of that it's not just a whole big bundle of code you know the more you split it up the more you know what specific scenario isn't working should help to narrow things down faster. The whole point of the TDD is that, you know, as we, as the app grows, if you change something somewhere that some piece of code that you're not actively working on was depending on it being a certain way, you know, you'll know right away if you run the test suite and it fails because you break something um, instead of having your users tell you later on in production. Uh, so it's good to split this up. So let's do the same setup. So we actually are gonna be implementing code in this because it's so similar that is gonna then make this fail because we're not doing whatever we do here. Like whatever we add in here for the gate, we're not yet setting up that invite here. So we'll need to think about that uh, later. Uh, assert status, this needs to th throw an error um, because it needs to say, you're not invited to that guild because we didn't invite you. And we need this to be false. And I don't know if this is even going to be relevant because are we going to be creating a user if they are not? Hmm. All right, so this. I... Yeah, this fails because like they actually are joining the guild and we don't want them to because they're not invited. So let's do this. User can't join guild not invited to fails. Now. 
we need to think about what a what form a guild invite should take. Should that be a model with its own database entry? Probably. Um, are there other ways to handle this off the top of my head? Um, I don't know. We could do like something interesting on user. I, I, I don't know. It, it probably belongs as a separate model. So we'll probably call that guild invite. And it's probably good to keep track of that in its own database because there might be some invites like someone invites someone else to a guild. We don't want them to be um, like spanned with multiple invites. We want to be able to check if they've already been invited to that guild. Um, if it was ignored, don't do it again. Something like that. So before we go and like create that model, let's actually Well, we're only going to need that guild invite model, I think, when we actually want this to actually work. Right now we want it to fail. It's basically like this acceptance endpoint needs to check for the guild invite. Yeah, to do. Check to see if the user was actually invited. All right, how do we do that? Probably we're going to want to look up to see if there's a guild invite. Where the guild ID is guild ID and where. Can I just chain that on there? I don't know. We'll test it and where the email of the guild invite is the email first. Uh, so if the invite exists, we're good and continue. So we don't really need to handle that, I don't think. If there's no invite, if we can't find anything, return Uh, you are not invited to that guild. This is... Eh. All right, this will probably squawk about. I don't know what guild invite is. So. Let's do artisan make model with a migration guild invite. And let me, I don't know what do I have here. Let me do this and this. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna want some foreign ID for the guild ID in this and um, basically just a string for the email okay Call to a member function is member of guild on null. Oh, because we're, mm, 
I want to change up the response code. All right, uh, let's go back to this. We're asserting that the status is 200, but we're throwing an error. It, this should be, should I? Laravel error response code. If there is no invite, let's actually make this a 500. What does that do? We're still looking for the user and it's not finding any of them. Well, in this case, <clears throat> So we can either um, just assume that there's no user created, or we could create a user and then assert that it's not a member of a guild. Um, let's do this. Conceivably, we could test that two different times, but I, I don't really care. Okay. Well, this works. Uh, we're creating a gill, we're creating a user, we're not having the user uh, be invited, and uh, they're trying to accept the invitation, it's throwing a 500 error, and we're grabbing the user object again and checking if they're a member of the guild, and they are not. So, this, Test passes. But this, of course, breaks our other test. Oops. So. In our test that we expect to pass, because they are accepting a guild invitation, there actually is no guild invitation. And so this is returning a 500 and we're expecting a 200. So in the arranging of this test, we need to create an invite. You know, a convenience function could be nice here. Do I wanna do all that? For now, let's just do the quickest way to get this to green, which is uh, let's create a guild invite. Okay, and that's pulled in. We might need to do force create. And where the guild ID is guild ID, and where the email is email and that would be done in like an admin panel or like a dashboard where you invite people ah so yeah force create would get us around this fillable error um, but you know it's worth going to do uh, it's just uh, like a database kind of protection thing Laravel doesn't allow 
quote unquote mass assignment. Now that, I think we'll do it. Field email doesn't have a default value. Oh, because we need to also add email to fillable. Oh goodness, all of our tests pass, woohoo! Okay, let's see if there's any holes in this. Um, so I kinda wanna put this below this. And it's kind of logical that the actual invitation should go up top. So we're testing that our guild has a name and it has many users. Um, we're not running our user test here, but so the admin can invite a user by email. Now this email is like ugly and doesn't really have the button, um, but that's just kind of uh, more cosmetic and easy to do and that might be what we do next, but let's see. A user can accept a guild invitation. I mean, and it's also creating a user. Um, you know, that's maybe worth a separate test, but that's all right. Uh, the user can accept a guild invitation. They can not join a guild that they weren't invited to. This is the core logic of um, sending out invites and having people join guilds. And then, you know, on top of this will be functionality that that kind of unlocks um, in terms of what we have people see. And so <clears throat> one of the next things we'll do probably will be like what does this actually unlock? Um, like what do I actually want these people to see? Like probably like a like an intro video. Um, but I think this is a good stopping point for now. So what I actually wanna do next is get the email sending working as well as starting to art automate this workflow where we've got people filling out this type form, 22 responses so far that will probably go out uh, that will probably go up as we get more people involved. And I want to be able to programmatically invite these people as they're applying, maybe after a quick check to make sure that their application is fine. Uh, but they're going to be invited to the guild as applicants. It's like a role within the guild or a level within the guild. Now, Typeform has an API for pulling this programmatically. And so this will be kind of a good example for you to see how we consume third-party APIs and um, you know, we'll test it. So I usually will Google, you know, Typeform API and so, okay, developer portal. What we need to do here is, at some point we might wanna do the create API for creating Typeforms uh, programmatically. Uh, webhooks will automatically deliver your Typeform submissions to your URL or web app. For now, we just want to programmatically um, retrieve the type form responses. So this is the responses API. Let's see, yeah, this is fine to start us off. Send a get request each time you want to retrieve your data for a type form. JSON, create parameters, cool. Okay, so we got the API reference. Sample application, we might need that. All right, check out the get started page. Create an application or generate a personal access token and make requests. Which of that should we do? Hmm. Register your application in your Typeform account. All right. Create an application in the Typeform admin panel. We could do that. Is it easier to just um, make a personal access token? Hmm. 
Yeah, this is probably simpler than setting up a whole application. I don't know. All right, we'll kind of, I'll skip over the part where I actually grab the token, but for now, let's go. Okay, I've generated a Typeform personal access token and saved it in the env file as Typeform token, so we're ready to use that. Uh, so I don't need that. <laughs> Base URL is this. And uh, usually when I'm consuming an API, I like to start a service. So first of all, what is this? I didn't commit these changes. Um, fillable guild invite. So I'm gonna create a service called Typeform. class type form let's see how do you constructor uh, public function construct Now, for now, let's call this base URL. And let's call this uh, token equals env type form token. Okay, now where are we gonna consume this from? Well, I guess the first thing I should do is make a test. Um, for now, I'll just put this in guild test, although conceivably this could go into like a uh, type form test, feature test. But right now it's kind of tightly coupled to what we're expecting for the guild flow. Um, let's go test. And we'll call this test, um, I guess we should do a little bit of design here first. Uh, let's see. So that's done. A service called type form. And the feature test is what? What are we trying to test? First is that we can pull email addresses of type form submissions. So Say admin can pull email addresses from type form. Okay. So for arranging. Act. Assert. Uh, 
let's see, I guess we'll do type form equals new type form. Did that pull that in? Yes, it did. In the proper place, cool. And um, for now, let's just test that we have type form um, base URL. Make sure that's initialized properly. Cannot access private property. Oops. Well, okay, but we're not going to need to access that elsewhere. Uh, that works. So, what are we going to want to do? Like type form. Pull core email addresses. Emails equals pull core email addresses. And we're going to expect that first of all, we're going to expect that it's an array. And we're going to also expect that it is kind of exert into assert count. I don't know if count works on arrays. I also don't know what exactly to assert here. What are my options here? Has key, not has key. Well, mm, depending on the response from type form, I might want to assert that there's like a success object from there. I'm not quite sure what to, to get back. So let's just keep it at this for now. So, all right, call to undefined method pull core email addresses. So we'll do now if I return an empty array, I believe that should pass. Yep. And if we return null. Okay, so let's figure out what the endpoint that we need is. All right, get the base URL, forms, form ID, responses. Okay, so URL equals this base URL plus this with the form ID. I assume is this here. And then how do we authenticate? Is it we just put a bearer? All right, that's what we get back. I could start making requests, but how do we pass it? Yep, okay. Um, author authorization bearer. Now, do I already have any example of this? No. Okay. So 
let me remind myself. Laravel may get request with off bearer header. Uh, no, I wanted to make a request. There we go. But do I want to use Guzzle? I thought Laravel has its own version of this. Uh, maybe I'll give this a try. Uh, what is this kind of ugly? Bearer. Can you do that? This looks ugly. Why is it not formatting for me? Let me see if this works. Let's DD the connection. Okay. So we have a Guzzle client. Do we have type ending about what methods are available? We do. Get. Let's try this. Here we go. So rest equals connection. This is a client. We'll just call it client. Res is client get, and let's try dd res oh. get body. Let's see what that does. Stream. All right, let's see what we should be expecting from here. Get body might not be what I need. I might need, huh? Well, let's first try just get status code two hundred. Good. This is express. Just seeing if there's anything I can learn about how they handle the response object. Uh, express. While it's saying that items is an array of objects, what happens if I die and dump the full response? Headers.
Oh, maybe because I'm duplicating the slash? Maybe? Uh, I still didn't do anything. Size null. It's like nothing is happening here. Let's try this even more basic. That is also not responding with anything. I'm probably missing something with the... Uh... Let me just try this. Is it not properly appending the base URL? That's weird that it would be giving the same thing. Laravel guzzle. Oh. All right, thank you, Laravel. Ugh, let's just do this. Uh, by the way, do I already have guzzle in here? I do, okay. Let's do this. Response equals HTTP get base this base URL, oops. Plus Vim URL. Let me just see what this does. The same thing. How about rest JSON? There we go. Um, authentication failed. Well, I didn't append the headers here. So let's, what do we got for headers? How do I append? Here we go. All right, with headers. Won't you indent prettily for me? What have we now? That's me. Oh, that's what I asked for. Hooray! Now. Uh, did I? No. Go back, give me my this, and do, 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 do. put that there. Hooray! Okay, we have all of that, so let's call this uh, JSON equals rest JSON now is the is it an object or an array? Look, 
looks like it's an array, and then it looks like that is what I need that to be, and that means I think that the test should pass. Hooray! Okay, we're testing that we are making the API request to Typeform with the proper authentication token from Typeform that authenticates us with the account. We're calling to get the responses for the core application form. Grabbing the JSON response and the array in it items from the JSON uh, uh, pagination. We I don't know that we need to handle that right now. I just don't know what the behavior is, and I don't care to do that at this moment. Um, but we have a an array that we're returning of all the items. Um, so uh, this is not yet just a straight list of the email addresses. Um, so I'll probably want to do that next, but let's call this, oops, initially passes, hooray. What next? Let's like take a look at what we have in terms of the structure of this object, and I could look at the docs, but for now I just want to kind of do this. For each emails as email, first let's just die and dump one of the emails and take a look at it. Because it's not an email, it's going to be the full response object. Um, for each emails as email, It looks like Okay, so basically there's no like field on this object that says email. It says um, there's like, it's a, it's an answer. So I need to, um, let's see, check to see if this for each, let's call it responses for each, that's annoying, for each responses as response, and I then need to loop through the actual answers. For each response answers as answer. If answer type equals email then die and dump answer email. Does that work? Oops, this doesn't know what that is. All right, Dory, thank you for being our guinea pig here. So um, we can make an array called emails equals da, 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 and then we can push onto emails answer email and then at the end of this process we will have an array with all the emails. 
Uh, why is it not? What happened there? And remove this. Hooray! Okay, we have an array of all of the emails. In reverse order, that's fine. So basically we're gonna assert that emails is an array and also response is an array. And this is a little bit sloppy, but I don't care. We got it done. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Admin can pull email addresses from type form is done. So done. Now what am I doing with this email? These email addresses. First let's all run all of the guild tests. Good. All right, now that I have all of the email addresses from Typeform, what are we gonna do? And you know what I wanna do before, because this is kinda, I don't wanna do all this junk in the, um, in the test. I actually wanna just expect this to be given to us from call this responses equals JSON items and then do all this here. Oops. And then return emails. I don't care about this. And this is actually emails. Now look at this beautiful clean test. We can also remove this exception handling thing. You know, the only thing that's extraneous here now is that um, there's no need to log in because we're just calling the service. So this isn't gonna be admin and this is just gonna be Type form service can pull core Apple email addresses. We'll just call it that. And this is about as simple as it's possible to get. Initialize the type form service, pull the core email addresses. Is it an array? If any of the like this stuff didn't work, like if it didn't give us the right thing back, that this would be parsed very properly, this would throw an error. And it doesn't. So, there is a nice, clean, three-line test. And what that lets us do now is confidently create a new test and uh, execute this command, because that's basically what we're testing. And because what I want to do now is actually email invites to these people which is kind of what we set out to do in the very beginning. So, uh, so we're renaming this, oops. Let's see, what will we call this? So we've got admin can invite user by email. Hmm. So we already have the invite user by email functionality done. Basically we need to loop through the email addresses from Typeform and just invite them like this. 
do I want to do that as a command? Because what I would like to be able to do, even though like to sophisticate this, it would be nice to have like a webhook set up so that as soon as there is an application, uh, maybe they get an invite immediately, but I might not want that. So for now, we'll just do this as a um, uh, artisan command that will pull the email addresses and email invites out to only people that have not yet received the, e the invite. Um, and then I, if I want to set that up on like a recurring cron job where basically that script runs once every hour so that every hour it'll check for users, signups, applicants who have not yet received that email and they'll be emailed. So I think that's a good way to do it. So we'll do this as, a, as an artisan command. Um, so maybe command can email uh, new applicants or command can invite What's it doing? It's checking for new applicants. You know, call it. Can check for new applicants and email invites. Okay, so let's make a test. And then this is basically at this point, all the functionality will be done. Then it's just prettying up the email, and um, if we want to do anything to have them be invited into anything, but at least getting this piece started will be cool. So, well. We need to pull the emails from Typeform. We need to loop through the emails. We need to see if this email has already been emailed. If not, Now this is interesting. So far we're doing this API endpoint. We're inviting users by email via this API endpoint. I don't want my command script running, you know, making post requests. So we might need to go into this and turn it into like a service or some kind of function call that we can just easily call from here. So we'll think about that when we get to it. But what are we gonna do? We're gonna loop through all the emails uh, basically, if we're going to need our fake guild, if email, if the email has not was invited to the guild, then hmm. So one thing in TDD is uh, it's easier to kind of like write the test as if, like how do you want it to look? So none of this stuff exists yet, but like this is nice and concise. We're looping through all the emails. If that email was not invited to that guild, then invite them. And I'm gonna to wanna to assert that, well, a bunch of emails were sent. I may wanna stub this out. Is this gonna send actual mail? I guess not if we're faking it. 
So let's do this. We're basically using the same um, assertion as the candidate by user by email, but we want to make sure that it's as now asserts. Wait, assert sent. I thought I changed that back to assert queue. Maybe I didn't. Uh, let me go do that now. Actually, I'm going to invite user by email. Yeah, this needs to be queued. Which will fail. Now I'll go back into guild controller. Um, okay. So let's now. Okay, what happens when we run this test? Call to a member function was invited to guild on string. Oh yeah, that's not gonna. If guild was invited email. Although that's not what I should have done. I should have said, hey, this fails. All right, let's try this again. Okay, call to undefined method guild was invited. We only want to send them an email if they have not already been invited. So, we need a method called was invited. and we're passing in an email. So here we're gonna be looking for a guild invite that has this email address and this guild ID. Now, the guild invite does not yet have a relation to the guild. So we need to set up that relation. Because what we're going to want to do is say this invites where email email Uh, this will be null if it can't find any invites. Otherwise, uh, return true if you've already been invited. Otherwise, return false. So that's the code we are going to want. Now, call to undefined method guild invites. There is no relation called invites. Uh, so for this, when we set up a relation, we're going to want to go down to the unit test. It has many invites. Okay, it fails. Guild invites is null. So, save that, commit that. Now let's go set up the relation. And this will be a, 
I believe it's going to be a has many. A guild has many invites. And I don't think there's anything else that we need to do. We need, do need to pull this in. Oops. I don't think there's anything else we need to do to set up the database structure because this is going to look for... I think it's going to look for guild ID in the guild invite table, which already exists. So, first let's try this. Yeah. Um, well, let's see if that works, if that helps us any. Let's go back to here and run the feature test. Okay, the expected app mail guild invite email mailable was not sent. Why not? Oh, let's see if this makes any difference. No. Okay. For each email as email, first of all, are we getting the emails here? Let's just make sure. Yep. doing this is not JavaScript buddy um, so this is interesting it's never getting to here because this is saying we're saying if it was not invited then you do the invite but it looks like it is saying that it's been invited but it what's going on here There we go. Uh, it was interpreting the empty collection as like a thing. All right. Call to undefined method, email invite. All right, so now it's uh, trying to send an email invite to this person and it doesn't know what email invite is. Now, um, we have that, that's gonna fail because it doesn't do anything, false is true. So, this is probably where we want that code to be. And is it in the controller right now? So here's the email code, and let's just have this live in one place only. Let's put it here. And we'll say guild email invite, email invite, email. And then let's pull this and this the other file, pulling code out of controllers into models is good.
except we're trying to pass in the guild. Oh. We have that on the this. And now this is interesting. Right now we're just sending the email invite, but we're not creating the guild invite object, which is probably where we should actually have this code. All right. Um, right. So let me, first of all, let me just see what our test tells us now. Okay. Was not sent. Did you mean to use assert queued? Yes, maybe. Am I asserting? Yeah, I didn't change this. What does our test say? Uh, this is passing because, well, the email has been sent from here, but it's not saving. It's not making an actual guild invite. It's emailing an invite, but it's not saving an invite. Is the guild controller creating a guild invite object? We're checking for it, but we're never actually. We're never creating this object, or are we? I see. We're only creating it for testing purposes here, and we're just directly creating it. Uh, but when we send the invite, we actually need to. Oops. I need this. Because we can send an email out, but they're not going to be able to accept it if we don't have, because it's, it's checking in the system to see. So, hmm. this is doing more than emailing the invite. All right, well, that at least will create the invite, yeah? Which we should probably check for. Like, Here's what I want to know right now is how many invites are created? So this is asserting that we're queuing, I guess, at least one guild invite email. But I actually want to know is are we actually creating the same number of invites as we have emails? So let's do this. This assert equals, how do I get the length of a string uh, array? Count. I want to assert that the count of emails is the same as the number of guild invites. First, tell me what the count is. And does that work? Or do I need to pull it in? It's already pulled in. 20. That is, I think, exactly what I wanted. Although, uh, I thought there was 22 responses. Is it only pulling 20? Twenty two emails and only twenty invites. Do we have duplicates? Wow. 
why I'm guessing there's duplicates. Yeah. What about this? Assert equals count array unique emails. What does that do? Oh, nice. Okay. And maybe I want to do that up here. Emails equals, and let me actually just put that in the um, type form service. So I don't need to do that here. All right. So we are sending out the same number of invites as we have received. Uh, this is because I mean, like right now, we're not we're not testing the this case here. Um, so that will be good to sophisticated, but this is working. Uh, now I can make a um, command that does this. Oh, but first of all, before we do anything else, let's make sure all of our tests pass. So we changed around some stuff. And we can make changes confidently and knowing that stuff doesn't break our core functionality if all our tests are so green. Sweet, 39 test pass. It takes so long because um, when the different tests log in, we're like verifying it against the magic SDK, which takes a second. Um, but that's okay. We could probably stub that out if we wanted to make it simpler or faster, but this is fine for now. Okay, what should we do next? Oh, so right now we're just doing the logic of this in the actual test. And really, I want to do this in an artisan command. So let's look up how do we test an artisan command. All 
right, so I want this to be basically is This artisan mm. This artisan core invite applicants assert exit code zero. And I guess this will be the act section. And then we'll make the same assertions. We're not doing this here. Although we do need to use that for the check. Um, well, we might have to do this API check twice. I don't know, because we need to get the amount. And then we need it so that we can check for the number of invites, but the function's gonna need to do that. I don't know if I can have it output and then read it from that. I think Typeform lets us do two requests per second, so this should be fine to duplicate it. All right, so basically, let's run this again and see what happens. The command core invite applicants does not exist. All right, let's look up browser command, or um, artisan commands, rather. Artisan. Make command invite core applicants. Okay. And we will just save that. And we'll take this and put that here. Command description invite core applicants by email via type form. All right. Failed asserting that zero matches expected 20. We need to pass the guild in. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually look up the guild. I'm gonna look up the guild with the name is City Core. And by the way, have we made that unique? Conceivably, we should test that, but oh well. Guild. All's oh, guild, good. Okay, guild is guild name where first or fail. And then in the guild test, when we create that, let's set the name of the guild to Arcade City Core. Now what happens? Guild name unique. Okay, it's passing. It's passing. Um, I'm like. 
like feeling like something is missing, but no, it looks like, let's review what's happening. We're calling the artisan command, which later on we can run anytime we want from the command line or put it on a cron job to invite core applicants by email via the type form. And what it's doing is creating the type form service. It's pulling all of the email addresses from that form. Uh, we're grabbing the guild. We're looping through all the emails. We're seeing if the person was invited or not. If they have not been, then we are inviting them, which does what? It creates an invite so they can actually accept it. And it's queuing up the guild invite email. Well, gosh. Let's make sure all of our tests run. So what this means is if I deploy this code live, uh, or conceivably wouldn't even need to do that, I could just run this um, from the command line. It will go through and email everyone. Um, I think I have mail configured on my local environment. I don't know if that matters, but I would probably do this live. Um, which means that all there really is to do now is to write the email. Okay, so this is done. So this all should work. The only thing now that needs to be done is uh, make the email actually pretty. So uh, Laravel lets you just return a mailable um, to kind of see what it looks like in the browser. So this is a previous email that we sent. Uh, so I'm going to change this to the other mailable. Magic of technology, the email is done. All right. Uh, tests are passing. Let's see. I'm about ready to deploy this. Uh, what can I clean up here? I don't want this route to be public. I don't want that. Hmm, why don't I test it out with this? Make sure that it works. Send it to myself. I might do this. Hmm. Well, let's give it a try. All right, so let's pass this up. Um, Hide mailable route, comma, create guild in test mail, whatever. I don't care that it's typoed. All right, let's push this and get push you origin guild invites. All right, let's go to GitHub and push this live. Add basic guild invites feature. Squash and merge. Okay, let's go deploy it to production. Usually we would do a staging server first, but you know, sometimes you just gotta cross your fingers and hope it doesn't blow up your production environment. <laughs> Not much going on on the website, so that's okay. Uh, mailable should do nothing now. Good. Uh, test mail, that might break. I don't know if the migrations ran or whatever. Um. Let's see if I received an email. I did, oh goodness. Oh goodness. The Arcade City Guild, Arcade City Core, has invited you to join as a member with the rank applicant. We don't have ranks implemented, that's just what everyone's gonna start as and we'll add ranks uh, maybe later this week. Accept invite, read this message from Arcade City Founder, blah, 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 okay, so joining takes a few steps. First, we set up your account, including your token wallet. Uh, we'll do another email in a day or two with the new guild dashboard. We'll do a video for that too. Um, that'll have a guild chat room where we'll coordinate as a team. In that dashboard, there will be initial training videos for you to watch. 
Then we will work together to identify a good applicant task for you. It will take about three to five hours to complete. You will be paid in ARCD at our hourly rate for that task, even if you are not invited to join as a full member. If you succeed at your applicant task, you may be invited to join Arcade City Core as a full member, including weekly payments in ARCD, as mentioned in the intro video. To set up your account, follow these steps. I don't know why that font is smaller. Whatever. Click the button above to accept the invite. You'll see a very basic message saying that you've joined the guild. Visit arcade.cd slash login and log in with this same email address. That will create your ETH wallet where your tokens will be paid. Download the Arcade City mobile app at this link. You'll soon be asked to link that account to your wallet account and complete the identity verification in the AC app. Required to ensure we only have one real person per guild member. Spots limited. You can add your your ID as a maximum. That's through our Jumium integration. We'll send more information along in a couple days. Chris. Okay, that's me. Let's go. Um, now, this should fail because I haven't created an invite for myself. I was just testing that the email would be spent. And finally, let's try out our artisan command. Uh, what is it? Artisan. Core. Invite. Applicants. Oops. I don't have it aliased up there. PHP. Undefined index items. I did not put in the environment variable. All right. Let's do this again. PHP artisan core invite applicants. Something happened, maybe. Let's go to... Was email sent? Delivered, 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 delivered. Failed. Delivered, delivered, delivered. Someone put in a wrong email address. Emails have been sent. Woohoo! All right, folks, that is enough for now. Um, thank you for watching. We will do more of this. Um, someday, other people than me will be making these videos. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of the idea. I want to start getting stuff out of my head um, out there into the world and start getting people familiar with our processes and um, and even if you're not going to be developing for Arcade City, it's still cool to be able to share what we're up to. See you soon.